Welcome back, third grade. Hey. All right. So today we're going to learn another multiplication strategy. A strategy is a tool or trick, a way that you can do something easier. So yesterday you talked about, or we talked about repeated addition. So adding the number multiple times. That's one way to do it. But to be honest, equal groups is my favorite strategy. And I think it's the easiest. So that's the one we're gonna talk about today. Whenever you see the word groups, that's a good hint that we're probably going to be using multiplication. Equal, what does equal mean? Well, it means the same. So up here, we added the same number over and over. We repeated adding. Down here, we're gonna make equal the same number of groups. Now a group, I like to put them in a circle so we know this is one group. So we're gonna take this exact same problem, three times four, and show it in equal groups. While I start writing, find this page you wrote down yesterday and add some more information. Remember, anytime I'm writing on my yellow chart paper, you need to be writing in your notebook. Equal groups, three times four equals. Yes, I know the answer is 12. I can look up there, but I wanna show you the new way you can solve multiplication problems. So I'm gonna take the number three or four, you pick. I like to do my back number as my group. So I'm gonna draw four groups. One, two, three, four. I keep my group side by side and I try to keep them the same size. Now I'm gonna take my front number, three, and that's how many goes inside of each group. Again, I'm gonna use dots and I'm gonna keep them nice and neat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I have four groups of three. You could have also drawn three groups of four and you would get the same answer. That's the cool thing about multiplication. It doesn't matter which number, which order the numbers are in, you'll get the same answer. So count your dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. Got it. Let's do another one. Let's do, instead of six times four, let's try a totally new problem. Let's do five times five. We call this a double because the numbers are the same. So I'm gonna draw five groups with five in each. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you have one number means groups and one number means how many go inside. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I am gonna do something different. Instead of drawing dots, I can count by fives. So I'm just gonna write the number five inside to show that this is worth five, this is worth five, this is worth five, this is worth five, this is worth five. Is worth five. So you can either Draw dots if you need to count dots, that's fine. Some of you can add in your head or skip count. If so, you can just write the number inside. So now I'm gonna count by fives because I know how to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five times five equals 25. Make sure you copy it down and now go practice some more. 